Chapter 17 Now Elijah, who was from Tishba in Gilead, told King Ahab, As surely as the Lord, the God of Israel, lives, the God whom I worship and serve, there will be no dew or rain during the next few years unless I give the word. Then the Lord said to Elijah, Go to the east and hide by Kirith Brook at a place east of where it enters the Jordan River. Drink from the brook and eat what the ravens bring you, for I have commanded them to bring you food. So Elijah did as the Lord had told him and camped beside Kirith Brook. The ravens brought him bread and meat each morning and evening, and he drank from the brook. But after a while the brook dried up, for there was no rainfall anywhere in the land. Then the Lord said to Elijah, Go and live in the village of Zarephath, near the city of Sidon. There is a widow there who will feed you. I have given her my instructions. So he went to Zarephath. As he arrived at the gates of the village, he saw a widow gathering sticks, and he asked her, Would you please bring me a cup of water? As she was going to get it, he called to her, Bring me a bite of bread, too. But she said, I swear by the Lord your God that I don't have a single piece of bread in the house, and I have only a handful of flour left in the jar and a little cooking oil in the bottom of the jug. I was just gathering a few sticks to cook this last meal, and then my son and I will die. But Elijah said to her, Don't be afraid. Go ahead and cook that last meal, but bake me a little loaf of bread first. Afterward there will still be enough food for you and your son. For this is what the Lord, the God of Israel, says. There will always be plenty of flour and oil left in your containers until the time when the Lord sends rain and the crops grow again. So she did as Elijah said, and she and Elijah and her son continued to eat from her supply of flour and oil for many days. For no matter how much they used, there was always enough left in the containers, just as the Lord had promised through Elijah. Some time later, the woman's son became sick. He grew worse and worse and finally died. She then said to Elijah, Oh, man of God, what have you done to me? Have you come here to punish my sins by killing my son? But Elijah replied, Give me your son. And he took the boy's body from her, carried him up to the upper room where he lived, and laid the body on his bed. Then Elijah cried out to the Lord, O Lord, my God, why have you brought tragedy on this widow, who has opened her home to me, causing her son to die? And he stretched himself out over the child three times, and cried out to the Lord, O Lord, my God, please let this child's life return to him. The Lord heard Elijah's prayer, and the life of the child returned, and he came back to life. Then Elijah brought him down from the upper room and gave him to his mother. Look! Your son is alive, he said. Then the woman told Elijah, Now I know for sure that you are a man of God, and that the Lord truly speaks through you.